So Juventus have played 16 games. They've won 15 of them. <laughs> and drawn once. Uh, <laughs> how the hell are Roma seventh in this damn tape? How how are they seventh? Six wins, six draws, four losses. Well, but still, as you say, that they're they're only only three points away from top four. So only three points away from AC Milan. Shout out to AC Milan. Shout out to AC Milan. You know, you know, flying the George Weah flag right and high. Um, Roma losing to Juventus. Um, I know that I've perhaps, you know, um, spoiled <laughs> the suspense um, before I give my prediction. Roma are not beating Juventus. They're losing the game. So it's a question of how badly are they going to get, get, get beat. Roma are not, win are not beating Juventus. Roma are not walking away with a draw in this game, you know. Um, but we're trying to analyze this game. We're trying to do, we're trying to say a few things. Um, I think for Roma, you know, with, um, with, within a game like, like this, they have to, you've got to just got to be brave. A defensive approach won't work. A composed, balanced approach will not work. Now, I'm not saying you should put every man, woman, and child um, to attack. But you've got nothing, you're not expected to win. The worst thing to do is this, when... You're not expected to win. You're expected to lose. And you're so overwhelming underdogs. The worst thing to do is be very timid and second guess. And just literally just limp to a, like a 1-0 um, loss. If you're going to lose, lose 5-1. But lose 5-1 with you trying things and, and, and pushing guys forward. So I think for Roma, try and really put your those Kellini and Bonucci who are older legs... Put them under pressure. Play with some bravery. Play with like you've got some flipping cojones. Okay? Try and play with some flipping damn bravery. You know, try and try and you know um play with some zest. Try and play with a little bit bit of a little bit of zest. But for Juventus, you know, at home, this should be another three three points. I do not understand how they lose this game. I just think that um again, guys, watch out for that that kid Benson Cole, man. That kid Juventus have won... So Juventus have played 16 games. They've won 15 of them. <laughs> and drawn what? They've got 46 points. They're currently... A... 8 points ahead of... Um, Napoli. Well, it's, it's, it's points is not insurmountable, you know, but... It is pretty sizable in this, in this area of time. So yeah, um... Cristina could probably get a good G. So I'm looking at 2-0 here. I mean, I'm looking at a 2-0 break, break, break down here. I think Cristiano, I'm going to maybe roll in for like a, a, a Dybala. I think he's um, due a G. So I think Dybala's going to, going to get a G. So I think for Juventus, if they just manage the game, take it easy. Do not overexert themselves. Just control the texture of the game, obviously, through Bentacon. They just get Bentacon on the ball. Just get him to really just you know, provide for Sandro and pink in the, the ball around. And they just pick their moments. But the main thing, they manage the game. They don't allow Roma any kind of edge way into the game. And they just force Roma to pretty much do the running. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. You know, you, you should be high. You, you should be high. So I'm rolling in with a 2 0 for events of Roma and Roma to get their, <laughs> their 16th win of the season. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the football hot patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halfoffootballhot.com or just click over here.